Hey, -o. I'm Tyson. Welcome back to Geeks Woodshop. We're going to do a SketchUp tutorial on how you can take a SketchUp model and flatten it either into just a graphic or an outline that you could use and send to something like a laser cutter. And in our case, it's going to be a Glowforge laser cutter. SketchUp to do that needs to get that model into an SVG format and it doesn't export SVG natively. And in this version, I'm going to be using SketchUp Make 2017. Now there's a different uh, approach you can take if you have a pro version with layout, which is ultimately, in my opinion, more powerful and gives you more flexibility, but you can still do quite a lot with a free version of SketchUp. So SketchUp Make 2017 was the last desktop version and it has some flexibility that we're gonna need to make this happen. Let's jump in. So I've got SketchUp Make 2017, let's fire it up. There's a handsome fellow. To do this example, let's start by going to the 3D warehouse and I'm gonna search for Lego construction because I know there's this cool little model here and this will be a good example. So thank you uh, for putting this model in the warehouse. Load this directly in the model. There it is, it's actually at the correct size. So it's really small. Let me erase that guy out of there. And then here we go. So we wanna take this model and find a way to get the outline of it as a cutting path. And to do that, we need to create a specific style that's gonna give us a very flat look that we can convert into a cutting path. To get a flat look, there's a couple approaches we could take, but this one tends to work really well. To start with, this model's interesting. It's got a number of layers to help organize it, and the method we're gonna use means we need to flatten all those layers. So I'm going to take all of the extra layers outside layer zero and delete them and move them into layer zero. Now everything is in the same layer. And then I'm going to turn on color by layer. And you can see it turns them all this sort of pinkish color. And we could choose any color we want, maybe this deep red. But that's the start. Now, we need to break this up uh, from the background even further. Actually, this background, let's get rid of the sky and a couple things. And to do that, let's jump to the styles. And I'm going to create a new style that we can uh, play with here. And let's call it outline or silhouette, something like that. So edit this. We are going to turn off edges and then either of these without uh, textures is going to work fine, but I'm going to turn on uh, surfaces with textures, without textures. And then as we saw, we still have the sky going on here. So I'm going to turn sky off and make the background just a pure white. So that's close. We still have an axis in here. And that, from some views, might also be something that we'd want gone. Okay, that's close. The final thing that we can do to make this really flat, and let me refresh so that I save those changes to that style, is with the shadow settings, I'm gonna expand this and say, use sun for shading, push the dark all the way to the right and the light all the way to the left that completely flattens the look of our model. And now it's really gonna be easy to take this and create an outline from it. Now from this version, SketchUp Make 2017, you can go up and you can export 2D graphics. You're limited in uh, the full exporters because this is not a pro version. But if you want a high quality graphic, go up 
and choose a JPEG or PNG and export at a high resolution. Uh, my screen is pretty decent resolution. I'm just for simplicity going to take some screenshots here. So grab a screenshot of this. And that's going to be what we need. Now, I also should be careful that I save this view. And that is done through scenes. So I want to save a scene. So I can return to this view if I wanted to go back and have a different style, a line work style, something like that. Let's jump back and that scene will let me come back. Now we can do a lot more with scenes, um, but for this um, right now, we'll just keep this simple. To convert this so that we could use this model, what we need to do is go, and the simplest way I found to do it is actually just this program online. You could take that outline and you could convert it. Um, you could do a bitmap trace in something like Inkscape. Uh, there's other tracing methods in some other programs. There's a number of ways to do it, but this image.online-convert.com and we want to convert to SVG. All I need to do is drag my screenshot here. It's going to upload it and I'm going to convert this. And then it just takes a few moments and it downloads. And there it is an SVG file. That is exactly what I needed. Let me set this aside and over here in the Globeforge, if I upload for a new um, design, there's that SVG we just saved. And there it is. You're not going to know exactly what scale it comes in at, but it looks like a solid right now. And in fact, we could use at this point engrave settings to just create that whole silhouette. Or if I switch to cut, you can see that actually we have an outline here that we could cut out. So that is pretty cool. That is how you can take something like this and print out the model, stick it on your Glowforge and then line up your outline as best you can. Now, if you're doing that, you know, you're going to, it's going to be a little bit off if you're just um, lining it up manually. So you, you know, it's a little bit off. There's cleaner ways to do it. Um, and if you have access to, if you want to combine your SVG and your image with snap marks, that's the best way to do it. And in fact, I'll show that method in the pro version of SketchUp because we can do that with layout. But this is still pretty cool. I think this is, um, you know, for just taking any 3D model and the 3D warehouse is full of millions of them. And then you can create just all these cutouts. So that's pretty cool. So let's talk about one other way to use SketchUp and this similar method. But this time, let me switch back to this style. This time, I'm gonna draw a simple design let me speed this up through the drawing process and then we'll take this and cut it out. Okay, so we've drawn something uh, simple, let's just say we're making some simple gift tags, something like this. We want to create a couple different cutting paths or a little hard to see scoring paths. So what we need to do is just break this up into the different, uh, different cutting paths. So what I'm going to do is take this shape and with the move tool, copy that shape over and then 
maybe this shape. You know, there's a path inside there. So once I've got that broken out, let me delete this circle because I want that cut out. And then, so I've got three different shapes that represent three different cutting paths. And I still have um, my outline style here. And that's what we need. Oops. But instead of capturing, I'm gonna do a screen capture again, but instead of capturing all of them together, which would put them all in a file, again, I wanna break these up into different cutting paths in the Glowforge software. So I'm gonna capture each one. One, two, three. The size of the capture doesn't matter as long as I capture them all without zooming further in because relative to the, each other, they're all correct. So let me jump back to our image converter. And you already saw this in action, so let me speed this up and convert each of these files. Okay, so here we have our SVGs. It looks like there's a, they're a little bit cut off, but they're not. Um, so we're gonna bring these into the Glowforge. Let's upload a new design. The key when you're gonna do something like this and layer multiple designs on top of each other is to bring them all in without resizing them. So I'm gonna bring this one in And I'm not going to resize it at this point. Before you do, add artwork, upload, and we need to bring in both of these other pieces first before we resize them so that we can resize them all together and relative to each other, they'll stay the correct size. Again, if you really needed exact size on these, that's something that you'd have to bring these into another software or use the SketchUp Pro version. But I've got all three of these. I can select them all and now resize them. Let's zoom in a little bit and line them up. I'm just gonna have to do this by eye, but it will help if I change all of these to cut settings so that I can see the line work. You need to be careful that I'm grabbing. So I got this one. And I can bring that and get it close and then use the arrow keys to, looks pretty good to me. So I've got that lined up and I could take each of these and give them their own cut settings or select this, copy and paste it. So I can do multiple cuts, paste it again. And in this one, maybe I'm just doing the inside. And so I'd get rid of the outside or in this one, it could be the other way around. trouble grabbing this little piece. Okay, so hopefully you get the idea. And this is a cut path and a cut path and a score path. That's the idea. So I hope this was helpful. Um, it definitely, if you try this and play around with it or have other ideas, please let me know. Please, in the comments, share your own thoughts or suggestions for 
what we might cover next or how, how well you think this even works. So until next time, cheers.